Look What's Cooking is brought to you by the Culinary Institute of Virginia. Hi, I'm Bonnie Johnson and I'm here with instructor Jeffrey Fleischman from the Culinary Institute of Virginia and we have my favorite dessert today. What did we make? <laughs> we, um, we took the classical s'more recipe and kind of turned it into something a little bit more clean to eat because you know it's always fun to get your, uh, your hands dirty while you're eating and we made a deep dish s'more. Oh, really, really simple, easy and oh my goodness, fabulous. Tell us how to make it. So we take a little bit of butter and some graham cracker crumbs and we just kind of form that into a crust and uh, layer, layer the inside of the uh, um, dish. We want to make sure we use an oven safe dish, right. of course. And um, I pre bake that in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. And then once it comes out and cools, um, I just put a little of your favorite chocolate and some fresh marshmallows in it and pop it back in the oven until um, golden brown. Now tell us about the, the chocolate because you said, really, I mean, favorite chocolate, you could use anything. Mm -hmm. um, I would typically not use a bitter chocolate because it, it doesn't have that sweetness flavor. It's usually more for baking. Mm -hmm. um, but you can use, you know, chocolate chips or you can even put in Heath, Heath chips to this or a Heath bar or, or you can even use a peanut, um, uh, like peanut butter and chocolate. Oh you yeah, that would be yummy. So you can get creative with it. Oh, so you have lots of ideas and really mm -hmm. no mess. No mess. So it's really great for like cocktail parties or if you're having people over and you can make them into smaller portions. I was going to say they have kind of baby ramekins, mm -hmm. you could do that as yep. well. And you talked about drizzling something on top. Um, I personally like uh, strawberries and raspberries uh, with my chocolate, so I have the tendency to uh, make a little raspberry puree or strawberry puree and uh, drizzle that on top of my chocolate. So if your mouth is watering and you want to try this, if you have kids, they're going to love this. Just take a spoon and dig right in. Mm -hmm. It's basically a s'mores, a s'mores, <laughs> but in a dish. Right. We're going to have this recipe on WTKR.com. For more information about the Culinary Institute, ChefVA.com. Look what's cooking.